Hello friends and neighbors. I wanted to show you this really neat um, old banjo here. It's actually, it's an old 1920s tenor banjo pot and a custom bluegrass neck uh, about 50 years old. So I guess 50 years ago, god damn, that'd be 1970 is when this old boy made this neck. So let's, let me get the strap off and I'll, I'll try to tell you all more about it. We'll start with the with the pot because that's the antique and that, that's more of our wheelhouse here. I could not tell, I couldn't determine who made this pot when I first got a hold of it. You know, I'm not Mr. Expert on, on all of this stuff. There's not really a lot of markings on it. There's a serial number here that says 8658. I don't know if I can show you all that. It says 8658. There's no other markings inside the pot. Um, you have to look on the outside of the pot and you'll find this marking right there by my thumb. That says patent applied for, and that's on the tone ring. That's stamped on this tone ring metal. Now this tone ring is, is sort of the dead giveaway. This is what people call a donut tone ring. It's a Washburn slash line and Healy product that came out in the 20s, I believe. And I have to credit Mr. Kyle Van Meter with uh, telling me what that was. I didn't know what it was and Kyle piped up and told me. Um, and I can recommend him if you're trying to purchase a banjo or get some work done on a banjo, look up Kyle Van Meter. He's easy to find. So Kyle's who got me straightened out on, on this pot. He told me it's a Washburn Style C uh, tenor pot with the donut tone ring. This donut tone ring is nothing really to write home about. It's about like the classic uh, Dobson tone ring that we're all familiar with. The only difference really is that the Dobson tone ring has the curvature on the front. This donut, Washburn donut tone ring has the curvature on the back. So it's really, it's just, it's a Washburn knockoff as far as I can tell. But it's nicely made. Other really nice thing about this is check out how the hooks sink into the side of the uh, of the tension hoop there. That's interesting. That's nice. I guess I've probably seen this before, but I always like to take note of that. That's pretty cool. And what it does is it gives you this nice smooth uh, feeling for your forearm. Nice smooth appearance. It's pretty cool. Other thing on here that's really interesting. Check out the tailpiece. So that is an original early 1900s Kirshner tailpiece. I think the Kirshner tailpiece is probably about the best tailpiece that's ever been made for a banjo as far as just the simplicity of it and and the cost and stuff. And so you can see it's got the it's got like the patent markings on it and stuff. Now what he's done, this was originally, you can count, there's only four posts. One, two, three, four. Originally this was a tenor banjo tailpiece. What he did was he soldered on a piece of sheet brass that a sort of fairly heavy gauge sheet brass and he's drilled five holes in it so he's converted this to a five string tailpiece and he did a nice job of it it's not it's not janky at all i really like it he did a good job on it so we can talk about the neck um so yeah like i said the guy who built this banjo he told me that he built the neck for it about 50 years ago and he's a bluegrass banjo player and he put these nice tuners on there. I believe those are Waverly tuners. There again, they're probably about 50 year old Waverly tuners. I believe that neck is mahogany. Looks like a couple of pieces of mahogany glued together. And um, I couldn't tell you what, what wood he's used for the fingerboard. I don't know. Maybe it's mahogany as well. Wouldn't surprise me. And a neat little fifth string tuner here. That's actually, that's some kind of, that's, that's a mechanical tuner in there. It looks like it's just a, one of those Ivoroid tuners jammed in there, but that's actually a nice mechanical tuner of some kind. Neat banjo, he done a good job on it. Let's take a look at the peg head. Uh, I apologize for my lighting out here today. It's just, this is the best weather I've had in some time. I think he did a nice job on this instrument. And it's a great player. But like I said, the, uh, the tone ring is nothing super special to write home about, but it does sound good with a plastic head. I put a nice modern bluegrass bridge on it, and I believe these are Diodario 
No, I don't know what kind of steel strings I put on here. I don't remember. Okay, friends and neighbors, if you enjoyed that, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and uh, share this with somebody who might be interested in these old instruments. Uh, also, you can check us out on the Patreon group. If you want to support us, that's a great way to, to join the community and, uh, and help us out here. And that website address is patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks. Link will be appearing in this corner. Okay, everybody, thank you for looking.